everybody. I've got my econometrics hat on here, so I thought we could walk through very basics of starting and using your very first do file. All right, so first off, what is a do file? It's basically a collection of all the commands that you would use in a status session, uh, and it allows you to keep a record of those commands, make adjustments to them, and execute them all in the order in which you specify, basically creating a little program. And this is going to be an absolute necessity if you're doing any sort of prolonged data project, right? So it'll allow you to go back, make changes um, without starting from scratch. And your econometrics professor is very likely going to ask you for something like a do file, a, a record of how you got to your finished product. So I've got Stata open here on a Mac. It looks a little bit different. The interface uh, in dealing with do files is a little bit different in Windows, but the concept of course is the same. So let's imagine that we are doing a project using uh, say some US macro time series data and we're going to go to our Federal Reserve economic database. We're going to use that Fred use command and we're going to pull up unemployment rate and industrial production just for example. Right. So we've got our data imported here so that's our first command uh, and let's say Obviously, there's way more to it than this, but just to bring up some commands, uh, for example, uh, we might want to summarize our data. That looks good. Uh, and then say we want to run something like a Phillips curve regression of unemployment rate as a function of industrial production. And let's imagine that's where, that's where we're going to stop, right? Well, so what we should do at this point is create a do file, right? And the easiest way to do it, no pun intended, uh, is just select all the commands over here and then hit the do file editor button and that's going to open a new little window and we can paste our commands right in here and essentially all we've done is created a, a text file, right, that can be called up directly from Stata. So, we can put a little space here, and a, once we've got our commands into our do file, an excellent next step is just to put our little comments in, right? Because your do file can grow to you know hundreds and hundreds of lines of code, and it might be months and months later that you have to go back to it and figure out, wait, what was I doing? Why did I do this? Uh, Etc. So, anything that we write in here uh, that begins with text is going to be read as a command in Stata. But if we just have a little asterisk as a prefix, that tells Stata, okay, I'm going to go ahead and skip this line, but we can still read it in the do file, right? So we might say here's our section with regressions. Up here are my descriptive statistics. Dot, 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 dot. Et cetera, right? And then we're just going to save this so we can call it up and say this is our project one save it wherever you want uh, let's say i'll save this on my desktop let's call this project 1a so i think i already have a project one And there we go. So now imagine, right, it's a week later and you find out, oh no, right, I should have actually included an additional variable, right? So maybe you don't want to have to go back and redo everything from scratch. You could just go back to the do file, right? So not even have Stata open potentially and say, okay, let's now bring in the federal funds rate. And let's put that into our commands. And let's say that's add that as an X variable in our regression. Right? Resave the do file. Right? And now in Stata, imagine this is all cleared out. Right? We should be able to call that up, right? So we go to File, Do, 
and here we are on the desktop ignore all that and we've got project 1a do file right here you can even see a little preview of it and we hit do dot 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 and it is done right and every time we need to make a change we can go back and do it line by line in the do file right so say obviously there's a lot to do here um, but imagine now oh we forgot to test for heteroscedasticity so let's do the het test command and then let's do it the regression again with robust standard errors etc right so hopefully this shows uh, the usefulness the power of the do file and just to get in that habit anytime you're doing a project using a data set more than once basically first step is to create a do file so if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll see you next time